That's Trey. And that's Goldie. We're friends from college. college. Then Trey married my sister. But unfortunately, we got divorced. We don't talk about that. Mostly because there's nothing to talk about. It was all good. Our friendship deepened while we were both employed at an event production consulting company. We spent 280 plus days on the road. Which made us expert business travelers. And expert best friends who always had one goal in mind. Host, host a podcast together. And after people didn't like the first six shows, including one where we interviewed building contractors in the Upper Peninsula while they were working, and one where we searched the country for the next great kid blues guitarist, we realized we weren't making shows about our true passion. We had to talk about the thing we know and love more than anything. Welcome, Welcome to, to Business Bu Trips. Welcome to Business Trips. This week, we're going to talk to a great new guest about their business travel tips. But first, a word from our sponsor. Are you an L.A. resident who needs to liquidate some metal? You need Tongue Gold Silver Exchange at 650 South Hill. Cha-ching! We are a proud sponsor of Business Trips. We admit that parking around here, quote, sucks, as some reviewers put it. But we challenge you to check out what uh, we pay for silver compared to other people and then think about the parking again. Not so big a deal anymore, perhaps. You can walk in with 10-ounce bouillon silver and get 94% of spot. Less than five minutes in and out. At Tongue Gold Silver Exchange, we're not going to waste your time with boring stories about where we immigrated from, or how we came into this business like some of our competitors. Take the elevator to the sixth floor and then walk around the corner. The glass across the front of our office has a graphic of old historic coins from the waist down. That's us. Come on in and liquidate your metal fast and easy. Chuching. We have lots of money for you. Do you want it or not? That's a good question. Tongue gold and silver. Um, I gotta check that place them. out. Oh, I know. It's. Um, I like going to Chinatown and in checking out all all the different stuff. Is that in Chinatown? Uh, I think Hill Street's in Chinatown. Six fifty South Hill. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there a couple times and I, I really love it. Oh, excellent! They have one in New York. They have one in San Francisco. Mm. Mm. I'm really excited about talking to our guest today uh, about her her travel. Tips. Me We're too, here with Brenda. Um, Brenda, welcome. Hi, thank you. <clears throat> thanks. Very for, happy to be here. Thanks for uh, for being with us. Absolutely. Um, you've got a very interesting, um, I guess, a story to tell or um, a, a job. Yeah. Is it a job or? Yeah. Well, legally, I can't say because I um, I get contracted by certain airlines. Um, they hire me to. I'm sort of like a medium of uh, lost luggage. Mm. Like a medium, like a person who talks to the dead, uh, but for you, you're hired to I've, do it for luggage. Well, I'm I am hired to find the luggage. Mm. Uh. So instead of using the service that, like, it, let's say you're, uh, you know, Southwest has certainly had a tough time recently. Uh, I, I guess we can use them as an example. Sure. If you lose a piece of luggage, you don't know when this is going to come out. Well, that's true. Um, I think Southwest it's so had a hard time over the holidays of 2022. <laughs> exactly. Um, so what happens is if, if I'm traveling in Southwest, I lose my luggage. Right. I go to their desk, and it's usually they're dealing with a lot of frustrated people Sorry. saying, where is my luggage? Um, and then they, they basically tell you, okay, you check in every few hours, and sometimes it could take days. Right. You've got a different way of tracking the luggage Absolutely. down. Absolutely. So, you know, you lose your luggage and you're running up to the, the booth and you're like very frantic, right? right? I'm on the other side. There's a mirror. There's always a mirror behind the people that you're checking in with. I'm on the other side of the mirror because I'm I'm looking. I'm looking at, you know, they're frantic. A one-way mirror. They yeah. don't know you're watching. No, no, no. It's like, wow. it's like law and order. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, I'm like watching them like a dun, hawk. Dun. I'm exactly, yeah. I'm writing down... Uh, you know, how they're moving their hands, how they're shifting their body, wow. weight, the tone of their voice, because because that's it. You okay, Mike? Yeah. yeah. Did that, did you recently lose Trey, your luggage? You no, I just, my elbow hurt. I hurt my elbow on that. Okay. Okay. Have you ever lost your luggage? 
I yes. Oh yeah. I have. Because I could tell the story. You remember. <laughs> you remember <laughs> Denver. Well, and and here's what I want to challenge you to do, Brenda. Don't you? <laughs> you don't know. I don't. <laughs> uh, you tell me at what point in the story you know where my luggage is. <laughs> if I'm interpreting your okay. talent correctly. Um, so I'd, I'd flown into Denver and then I, I was supposed to go on to Aspen Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what, but, um, my luggage, but I was driving, I was renting a car, so I was done flying and my luggage was not there. And then I, I even saw people from my flight, Mm -hmm. um, gathering luggage. You know how sometimes after the conveyor belt's done, they just start putting them in a little like sad lineup. Yeah. People from my flight were getting their luggage out of that. My my suitcase also wasn't there. Um, it was a blue suitcase. Mm, I don't know. Okay. I, I, if you do, you it, have a cousin? I had. I do. Wow. Okay. Yes. Whoa. I do. That's crazy. Yeah. So, have you ever asked your cousin? I <laughs> I haven't. Wow. I don't even understand how you just did that. No, I know. I know. It's, my cousin it's, has my suitcase? Yes. Wow. This was in like 2011? Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. It's yeah. 2013. It's, wow. Oh, yeah. my God. That's, that's, that's amazing. That's basically it. pocket. You now, know? you've got a couple cousins. I have a, I have 17 cousins. Wow. wow. And so it's going to take a minute. Do you have like a image um, of like a tall, short? Yes. Tall, sh- short, and mm-hmm. sort of distant. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's Kathy. Yep. Oh. Ah. Kathy's got my suit. Why? Yes. Can You're I ask good. why? You know, Kathy, that is something that is so deeply rooted with mm-hmm. uh, your two your relationship with yeah. Kathy. There's some family history there. Yeah. Mm. And oh, maybe yeah. some family history, family drama. Huh. Yes. With like maybe your aunt. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's Kathy's mom. I'm yeah. Sweating. Yeah. yeah I know. That's crazy. I mean, I'm sh- how did you? All right. So, do you come wow. from? <clears throat> this is cool. Do you have an airline? Do you have a more orthodox airline background? Do the airlines hire you, or are you just there as a um, what do you call it? Like a, a, a contractor? Yeah, like a, a consultant. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm a consultant. I, I work for myself. Um, That's amazing. That alone is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. When I say, you know, when I say I'm a luggage medium, yeah, I do talk to the luggage. You do. Yeah. When it's gone, or do you need to be in the room with it? <sighs> Sorry, I got something. Oh wow! Just now. Yeah. Is there a I bag don't even in here? See any bags? I brought in my here. backpack. Okay. It's probably that. Okay. But it's here. Well, okay. but but you probably don't even deal with carry-ons, do you? These are just check bags. Check bags. I used to deal with carry-ons, um, but I've since kind of graduated. Yeah. You know what? I bet. Huh? I bet there's some people at American Airlines or Delta or whatever who hate the idea of uh, going to this sort of source to find because there's some very left brain. I never have it quite right type people in the world today mm-hmm. who are going to be like, that's witchcraft. Mm-hmm. That's witchcraft. You know, screaming. Mm-hmm. Have you ever dealt with anyone like that on a big Zoom with um, Southwest or anything? Absolutely. Their head oh, CEO, yeah. which I cannot name. But I, I, think I feel like can we can we can figure that out. No, that. we you can't Google that. That is not public oh. information. Do they have a secret CEO? I didn't know that. They have a secret CEO. It's a good um, time for them to have one. Yeah. In in holiday, this past holiday, holiday season, twenty twenty two. Yeah, I mean, I've had people come up to me and uh, gently push me a little bit. Really? Yeah. Oh. While you like, because I'll be like walking down. You know, I'm walking down, and they're like, "Oh, sorry." They run into me, and it's like the impact of that. Where are these normally? When they're lost, they're 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 usually sitting somewhere in the airport, but not where they're supposed to be. Correct. I mean, they could be all over the country, all over the world. You know, and it's my job it's to. Like taking- yeah. In fact, I'm working on a script. Uh, it's about, it's like the same plot as Taken, but it's with the bag. Wow, that's Don't better. The bag. Steal that. Uh, we're not going to, but some of our listeners, we do that. have some, some listeners, listeners that are in yeah. the entertainment industry, Ooh. and I hope they okay. don't. I hope they don't. 
we'll let you know when this is coming out and see if you're done with it. Um, and otherwise, we'll take that part out. Um, so, yeah, cool. So it's a taken for the bag. I kind of like that. Thank What's you. the farthest away one of these bags has ever been geographically? Denver. What the hell's going on in Denver? <laughs> I don't know. That's the farthest? So yeah. we, And then because you're based out of Los Angeles? Right. Okay. But I bop around the world. Ugh. The whole world. Yeah. But, the, but Denver's Denver. Well, not super. And supposedly, <laughs> supposedly that airport has got a weird. They've got yes. an underground thing. That they do. Got what a it weird do, underground thing yeah. with the lizard people are there. Yeah. Right? They, yes. Yeah. Well, they, do they eat bags? They you don't eat, have to answer they, this. Well, off the record. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought On I, the record, maybe the CEO of a certain airline that rhymes with. Dolph, da- uh, Dolph. I know the one you're talking about. I don't yet. So please, Dolph Fest. Oh, Dow Dow Fest. I think maybe there are that. connections and ties. I don't wow. know. Like I'm just you know. So there's like a stigmata thing, or or um Dow the Fest. um, what's that called? That organization. Um, you know, Catholics. No, at 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 Stapleton at the at the Denver airport. They, there's a there's Blizzard a lizard people. Ju- well, but when they built it, they there was some oh boulder. not not the elks, but like that. No, no that's oh, not it. Lions. The lions no, okay. club or yeah. whatever. The Masons, the, the three the, Masons, yeah, the little uh, maroon the hats elks. with the Boy Scouts. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, sorry. Um, we tried to help you. No, I yeah. I do appreciate that. Um, okay, here's here's something. Are you eating in the cafeteria with the rest of the employees from these uh, from these airlines, or Absolutely. do they are they do they treat you a little differently and say, "Hey, go ahead and"? Uh, well, y- let's just say there's a long line, and I don't gotta wait in that. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Oh wow. I like that. Thanks. You you have connections, is what you're saying. Yes. There's ways you get food in an airport that maybe we're not even allowed to know about. Here's another question, mm-hmm. and we have not been able to get this answer from anyone yet. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if we've asked the question, which is part of that reason that we haven't. How do you actually, if you work at an airport, mm-hmm. where do you park? physically go into the airport? Where do you park? How do you get in? Mm-hmm. I never just see people wearing chilies to go aprons right. going through TSA. That's so interesting you bring that up. Um, I fly in. Not in the way you think. Oh. Well, I was thinking two different things. Are they both wrong? Yeah. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) She knows. Yeah, that's cool. She knows. That's cool. So you do a different thing. Oh. (laughs) Let's Let's do a quick game of... Um, we say we'll say a thing that that either did or didn't happen, okay. and okay. you tell us if if we're if it did or did. Okay, that's great. Right? And that is not what I was thinking oh. you were going to say. Okay, yeah, be cute. careful on that. I think I think they moved those around a little bit. Oh, and my elbow is skinnier too. I lost. I saw I you lost, lost some elbow weight, and my elbow is it's the bone is oh, wow. directly. You do look great. Well, thank you, but the point is that the elbow is pushing against the skin. Mm. Um, all right, so we'll say a thing that either did or well, didn't happen, yeah, and you, you have to say it did or it didn't. Okay, did or did. The game is did or didn't okay. with with a, with a medium, I Brenda. Like it. Yes. Um, ended up, ended up. It's did or didn't. We'll do it. We'll put that in later. We're gonna have a real. Music we'll do a little there. cue there. Um, okay. Did we or didn't we end up missing a flight? in Philadelphia going to St. Louis and we ended up staying the night in the Ramada at the Philadelphia airport and ended up meeting Macho Man Randy Savage. You did not. How the hell did you know that? Ding. Ding. Wow. Um, did a third tower fall on 9-11 due to um, explosives being planted in it that had nothing to do with the planes. I didn't understand the game. I didn't know it was about our history, it, and I already got no, excited it, it to just it can be anything. It can ask. be collective history. Did that happen um, unrelated to the uh, planes flying 
It did. Yeah. And I got like a million emails to send tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just, that just changed my morning. <laughs> did 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 baby carrots used to be adult carrots and then they were chiseled down with a high pressure water pick to become babies, or were they babies that didn't get a chance to actually grow into adults? That is still undecided. Hmm. Oh fuck. It's just like my dream eight ball. Yeah. I know your dream eight ball. <laughs> uh, Dallas two thousand eleven. Don't, <laughs> don't. Uh, uh, we will take that. Okay. <laughs> delete. Uh, uh, delete. Delete. Um. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. I here, here's yeah. what I'm angry about. Oh. Um. Is why. When you lose your bag, the people you're talking to are not angry about curious. Yeah, about, that's which, better. Uh, which always is bookended by ang- uh-huh. anger. You mm-hmm. get angry, you get curious, and then you get angry again. Those are the three steps of Deepak healing. Chopra. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, yeah. So the people who are behind the counter saying, oh, "Okay, you lost. What, say, check, uh, circle the image of the bag." Right. Do they know you exist? Yes, because they are stalling. Do you notice how they ha- oh. they're they like so neutral? Yes. And, yes. And, and, and the line like, takes forever. It takes forever because they're stalling because I'm back there, you know, writing down like the characteristics of who you mm-hmm. are. Like, are you an Aries? You know, are you a water sign? Oh. Do you have... What, an, what is with water signs? That's something an air sign would ask. Mm. When's your birthday? I think I'm a land. Is that one? Is that another section You're of You're a Leo? Yeah. Is That's it? something a Leo would ask? Yeah. Is That's that a land? Leo's a Leo, land? Leo's land. land. Well, because it's a lion. I'd rather be a water lion. And I'm not going to lie. Are you know. strictly on land. They can't swim. They can, but it's just not. They don't prefer it. Right. And that, that's, that rings true about me. I'm not. I don't love can swimming. Swim. I can do it. I don't want to do it. So you're strictly on land. Yeah, pretty strictly. I just had like three kind of internal belches. Burps. I I just want to make sure we didn't pick that up. Aaron, I'm sure did we, we pick it up? No. Okay. Shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, so okay. you're a land sign, and you you know that it, within one minute or yeah, I could and tell wh- by you notice how uh, the fingers are this connected, and moving, yeah. and he's talking into the mic. Do you notice he's that doing it's like, kind of like a well, how a, else would a crab it, sea crab with right. his fingers? But how 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 listeners. how it's like land and sea? How would an air Rising sign, must uh, be cancer? I don't even know. Ah. I'm supposed to look that up by knowing the time I was born, but then that always gets into a weird spot where you have to call your mom, and some of us don't even have moms. But you do. I do. Oh, okay. I think it was like 8 p.m., but, but people don't know that stuff off the top of their head. Mediums right, right. might. Test two babies don't know. Right. A great example. I mean, I just feel bad that everyone's being asked that question and i think that's deeply personal and gets in some really tough areas for test tube babies especially like they don't know right. they don't know their moms yeah right. you um, always say do you have mom issues and they're like no right. no i don't oh you had a great mom no no but then that's someone that hasn't put in the work yeah you got to do the work is what they always the are test tube babies have to put in the work yeah did you train how, wh- where were you and how did you know that you had this power and were you always using it for good? I mean, I do need to ask that That's question. That's a great question. You know, I do have some, um, I have some uh, uh, enemies. I've made some enemies along the way and, you know, I see that they're traveling because I have their location on. Can you lose their bag? I can lose their bag. Uh, do not cross Brenda. <laughs> Wow. Because that's your first mistake. That is that, that is that is that is a literal superpower right there. That made me horny. Thank you. Yeah, I get it. A lot of people feel that way. <laughs> what don't I don't know. Why? Don't Why judge make me? You horny? I, that was vulnerable. I mean I guess it is, but it also puts me in a position where I have to I have to understand how that makes me feel too. Okay. Well I just I, I've never heard of that. That's powerful. Yeah. Now Thank I'm you. feeling a little weird that it didn't make me horny, you know? Like, well, and it, it, it was a wave. It was a thought. The, the two days after you've lost your bag are such hell that to mm-hmm. be able to pick and choose 
you're wearing your friend's boxers. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. you're that this is where and this is what I've also wondered about. A little bit of a conspiracy theorist, he'll be the first to tell you. Mm. Uh believe me, a little you, bit? You, think, you, you think you a think a little bit you think he's the one that came up with that third tower thing? No. No. That, no. that was Goldie. I got a lot more where that came from. <laughs> People, don't get me started on Kennedy. Um, I'm talking about John John. Uh, he didn't die in a plane crash. Anyway. No. He was died say, of old age. Yes, he did. Uh, he did. He died of middle age. Uh, and, and right before our very eyes. Then people didn't realize he was a, people didn't realize he was a news anchor mm. in Omaha for years. Oh, going for under a long time. A, mm. Going under a different yeah. name. He just slightly tinted his hair. It wasn't even like barely. a... Barely. Barely. And he was a medium. He was medium at that. Yeah, yeah. He was um, a medium. Oh, no, not... Sorry. Oh, sorry. No. Oh. No. Uh, uh, I can't remember what <laughs> I was going to say. Your little say. ear radars. Yeah, I was like... Um, no, he was only average at being... Yeah, as, a, as a news reader. As a news reader. Yeah. Um, ultimately. But the conspiracy theory you had... I lost it. I don't even remember what it was. But... Um, yeah. Well, I have something. Yeah. Because you were talking about, like, how do I find the bags? Yes. Right. Right? So I'm back there, you know, jotting down notes. And mm. I'm furiously, I, I have a someone that's typing on a typewriter because I don't touch technology. <laughs> wow. With a six-foot pole, I wouldn't get even get near it. I'd like to get to that place. Yeah. So, you know, I'm I'm yelling. I'm screaming at this person mm -hmm. who's transcribing i'm like they have they're, they have a button missing because those little things right. they matter you know and it's like you got a button missing you probably have like a navy blue luggage that has a little bit of a rip a rip uh, big enough where things could fall out you know you're not like uh -huh. it's like it's like a you know people. Uh, yes yeah so maybe that luggage to me would then i would think cincinnati Interesting. Yeah. Based on everything she said. Everything oh, I'm okay. saying. Yeah. The okay. missing button. Wow. And then it just yeah. I can see that just like that one factoid just ripples really? out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I think that's certainly I, yeah, I can see that. Um what do you mean? No, I think I, I Yeah, that makes sense to me. How that could be. I think you would have Maybe a baby luggage. I do have a baby luggage, and let me tell you, Is I don't it new know. or small. New. 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 I do like the. I like a. I like a rolly one that doesn't announce that it's a rolly one. Mm. Really subtle on Four the wheels. wheels or two. Oh, I like two. I like the tip, the pull, um, and yeah. Um, here's a, here's another question. Mm -hmm. When sometimes when stuff no. <laughs> when stuff gets lost, right? Lost. Right. Is it always lost, or is there a little bit because there's fees involved sometimes where they go, we couldn't find it, and then it's like, well, we're gonna then you're gonna have to give us a voucher, uh, you're gonna have to go shopping at Ross Dress for Less in you know right. Milwaukee, right? Um, you know what? Don't answer that one. Let's, no, death. well, let her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we have to we have to pay some bills here. Yes. <clears throat> Business trips is also brought to you by Splendid Cleaners. Um, for over 70 years, Splendid Cleaners has been serving the dry cleaning needs of Los Angeles. And while we are tight lipped about our well known clientele, oh, we are proud to say we have been taking care of some of the brightest stars of TV, film, local news anchors. <laughs> we were just talking about that. Real estate developers and orthopedic surgeons in town since 1950. That's not easy to do, keep a business going that long. Lots has changed since then, but not our sign. We've got the same sign as we did then as a reminder that quality never goes out of style, but some styles do. They really do. Located on iconic South Cochrane Avenue in Los Angeles, Splendid Cleaners has a neighborhood feel and big city service. I like that. We use the latest in dry cleaning technology, well, sure, to achieve the highest standard possible every single time. We hope to be your weekly stop for your work shirts and work skirts, but we're also ready for your drapes and area rugs. Um, we also offer a pickup and drop-off service if that's something you need and can't afford. Splendid cleaners, we care about reliability and your clothes and you. Okay. Well, thank you to Splendid Cleaners. Uh, we love having them. Yeah. 
Um, uh, I just saw the next thing on our uh, agenda. Yeah, yeah, I forgot yeah, yeah, we yeah, were doing yeah, yeah. this today. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. Today. <clears throat> Take your time. Today's episode of Business Trips is dedicated to Phil Me Up Buttercup Holbrook. Phil Holbrook was in charge of repainting the podcast studio and offices once a year and recarpeting every five years. He was eventually, uh, he was, sorry, actually midway through a paint job um, when he sadly passed away yesterday. So uh, uh, it was nice that we did get to see Phil uh, recently again. Um, I remember, I remember him pointing out to us that Phil, Me Up, Buttercup are uh, not the actual lyrics to that song. So his nickname didn't make sense, according to him. Um, it's Build Me Up, I guess. But um, uh, I remember I, right? I suggested, I don't know, that's what he said. Uh, I suggested we change it, his nickname to Leonardo Phil Vinci, because uh, he's a painter. And he said, fine. Let's just keep it fill me up, Buttercup, which was uh, just a taste of sort of the yeah, wry sense of yeah, humor yeah. Uh, that he would bring to us once a <laughs> year. Yeah. Um, he also uh, would bring a tiny flask in his painter's jumpsuit, which I used to tease him about relentlessly. Uh, he loved his girlfriend and their two cats, as well as golf and car racing. Yeah. Watching those on TV, not doing those uh, things to my knowledge. He was apparently chopped in the neck with yeah. some kind of hatchet or axe last night, so we're going to get to the bottom of that and let let you all know what's going on there. But for now, there's a Phil Holbrook-sized hole in our studio mm. uh, that we wish he could return from the dead to fill up. Um, yeah. Obviously not literally. Um He's just going to be very, very, very missed. No words right nice. now. Yeah. That's a loss and a tragedy, too. Did you talk to him this week when he was here? I uh, ran into him. I was actually running in the bathroom because I had had a little bit of a need to get in there quick. So it was a real quick, uh, it was kind of a head nod, and the eye contact uh, communicated everything. But uh, I wish I had, had more time. That's him, though. Yeah, he he could do a lot with a little. Well, we love you. And to uh, his girlfriend, I did not get... Never knew her name. No, didn't get her name. Yeah. Or the names of the cats. I want to say um, Dana, but... 